My name is Stan Van Nieverberg. I'm the Earl Cazes and Benjamin Shore Professor of Real Estate and a professor in the Finance Department at Columbia Business School. Here I teach real estate finance as well as real estate analytics. I was trained as a macroeconomist with a strong interest in finance and in real estate. And when I was looking for a dissertation topic back in the year 2000, uh, this was the middle of the dot-com boom. And one thing I noticed is that real estate as an asset class performed particularly well in that recession. The, the, the magazine, The Economist, even ran an article at the time called The Houses That Saved the World. And so I started thinking about the extent to which housing can, can act uh, as a source of value and a source of collateral for households and businesses, helping them to buffer you know, a negative income shock. Right? So if you have a house but you, and you lose your job, you could potentially borrow against your house to help you through, through that negative period, that period of, of, of low income. And, and so that's kind of what, what became the topic of my dissertation. And, and ever since, I've been very interested in this nexus of macroeconomics, finance, and real estate. So at CBS, our real estate curriculum is both deep and broad. Right? So it all starts with this course that I teach alongside with many of my colleagues called Real Estate Finance, which is a basic course that you know, starts from the, from the building and trying to understand what are the cash flows that this building generates through leases, how do we value this stream of leases uh, in the form of, you know, with the help of a performa analysis, and then thinks about how we finance these, uh, these, these assets with a mix of, of debt and equity and potentially a quite a rich capital structure and kind of uses that to think about the different uh, sources of capital in real estate. Right, so from that course, that course is the jumping off uh, point to uh, you know, a large suite of about a dozen courses in real estate that we offer at CBS, ranging from real estate debt to real estate equity markets to international real estate to prop tech. Uh, to real estate entrepreneurship, uh, a course that I started to teach this past year called Real Estate Analytics, which is a big data meets real estate course. And so we have a range of courses that allow students to specialize in, in, in what they're most passionate about and help them to tailor their careers towards, you know, be it more uh, of a role in real estate private equity or more of a role in real estate investment banking um, or, or real estate consulting. So the new course that I teach, Real Estate Analytics, brings big data uh, together with business analytics tools to make progress on important questions in real estate. So in the class, we uh, are you know, studying questions of how did the pandemic affect real estate values in urban versus suburban locations, residential versus office markets. We think about how to value publicly listed REITs and how to trade in them. We think about um, how to predict the refinancing behavior of households on their mortgages, the default behavior of mortgages. And so in a lot of these questions, uh, you know, we're, we're in an environment where there's a lot of data. And for example, the individual mortgage data, we literally have hundreds of millions of mortgages in the US issued over you know, several decades. And for each of these mortgages, we could see whether they refinanced, whether they defaulted in each month, right? So this is a very data rich environment. And you know, we wanna bring those type of problems to the students and give them the tools uh, to help answer these, these questions. And so a lot of the course is done in Python. There's about 10,000 lines of Python coding in my class. So you know, it's really kind of a confluence of conceptual questions in real estate with large data sets, with data analytics tools like Python coding um, to help them analyze these questions. Real estate has traditionally been kind of a very uh, kind of data uh, poor, uh, been operating in a very data poor environment, but this is changing rapidly and modern business leaders are seeing the value from data and seeing how it, how it improves their decisions. Uh, and um, you know, very quickly the world is moving in this direction. And so with this course, I hope to help train that next generation of real estate leaders that, that thinks about uh, how to make better decisions with more data and more, more analysis. And just to convince the students that this is not just conceptual, I bring in guest speakers. Uh, you know, we had a wonderful team uh, from Welltower that gave us 
uh, you know, a very concrete um, discussion of how big data affects their day-to-day -day businesses uh, in terms of their location choice, of their medical offices, in terms of where they built the next senior housing. And it was really an eye-opening experience for students to see that you know, all these concepts that we had been talking about throughout the semester were kind of already kind of being put in action. So real estate private equity is, is one of those important growth areas. Uh, the, the real estate private equity industry has raised a lot of assets over the last five years, and that has created a lot of uh, opportunity for, for our students, and an increasing number of our students are finding their way into that, into that area. Uh, also, there's a lot of interest in, in startups and in entrepreneurial activity, and there's this whole realm of prop tech that a lot of our students are also increasingly uh, finding their way towards. Um, you know, start startups that, that focus in you know automating the, the real estate uh, you know business, uh, a, a lot of different parts of the of the real estate business, and then finally there's traditional areas that are still strong like real estate investment banking, real estate consulting, that a number of our students find their way in as well. Like like many other areas, there's a, a real scarcity of talent, and so the labor market is very good right now uh, for our students. So you know, our, all of our real estate students are, are gainfully employed.